now call to order the new Carlisle City Council meeting, September 4th, 2018, at 7 p.m. Mrs. Berner. Mayor Reynolds. Here. <coughs> Mr. Lowry. Here. Mr. Shammy. Here. Mr. Call. Here. Mr. Cook. Here. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Here. Six members present. If you don't mind joining us tonight in our invocation by Vice Mayor Bill. Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask you once again to come into our hearts and our minds and let us do the will of the city and your will, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We'll do our pledge of the flag I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Action on the minutes. So moved. Second. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. And we're voting on 820, correct? 820, yeah. Okay. Mayor Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor? Minutes accepted, 6-0. For any action on the minutes for a work session, 8-9-18. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Minutes accepted, 6-0. And then action on the minutes, special meeting, 8-23-18. So moved. Second. Vice Mayor Lindsay? He seconded. I don't believe you can second. He wasn't here, was he? Yeah, you? For the 23rd? He was here. I have six members okay. present. Mm -hmm. oh, right. the other one. Uh, yes. Mayor Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Minutes accepted, 6-0. All right. Communications, there are none tonight. Mr. Bridge for City Manager's Report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, members of Council, members of the public, I'd like to share with you the City Manager's Report. Under informational items, uh, I think at the last Council meeting, I had a Council member ask uh, information about our online water payments. So I gathered some statistics for you. Um, right now, we have 237 actual online accounts registered. So what that means is I went on, I put my name and address, and I actually have an account with a login and password. Um, 237 of those. We have 250 registered online accounts. I'm, in, I'm sorry, 237 ACH accounts means you have your bank send a check in. I do apologize about that. 250 registered accounts is where you go in and create a username and password. We have, we've had 12,935 express mobile payments to date. What that means is you can just go in, click a button, and it pays your bill. You don't have a registered account. You can just do a one-click pay. Um, we have other, uh, many other bill pays from other banks. What that means is if you go, like, I'm a U.S. bank customer, so I can go in and set up a bill pay account where it says <coughs> check out for my dp &L bill every month. So we have, uh, we receive a lot of checks. We don't have a, we don't quantify that, but on a monthly basis, daily basis, we get a bunch of checks from banks in there for water bills. Um, and the city building has experienced a significant decrease in bills paid directly at the window, and that frees up time for that front cashier to do uh, other things around the office or assist other people in line. So we have seen a very positive uh, uh, outcome with those online water payments. I just encourage more people to actually physically go in and actually register for an account because what you do when you actually have an account that registered, you can detail your bill. You can see your usage peaks, you can see your valleys. So you get a lot more out of the system if you go and actually register your account with your username and password. Income tax collections, I've got some great news. Uh, from this time last year, we are up $227,000 from this time last year in our income tax collections. Now, we pay a percentage fee for amount for, for every dollar they collect off of that. I think it's around 4 or 5%. Um, due to that, we need to allocate more money into the line item for the fees for the income tax collections. 
which that's it's on the ordinance that will be introduced tonight, but it'll be voted on at the next meeting. But don't when you see that increase for that income tax refund, it is strictly because we are just collecting more than what we have been in the past, which is a good, good thing. Um, also, too, if you notice on your packet, I did quantify that data for everyone, and you can see the chart of where we are compared to this time last year. Twin Creeks Planning Board will meet the week of 917 or 924. Uh, we have in our final meeting and they will make their final recommendations to City Council. Um, we plan on having legislation in front of City Council on 10-1 and 10-15. This is dependent upon the actual uh, title from the land that we are going to acquire coming back to us in time. I'm not putting anything in front of Council to accept that land, those poor parcels, until we have a clean title. Streetlight assessments, the deadline to pay at the city building before we send it off to the county auditor is tomorrow by the end of business day. So if you do want to come and stop by the city building to pay your street lighting assessments, please do so. Um, but tomorrow at the end of business day will be the deadline and then it'll be sent to the county, county to be assessed your property tax. And that also comes with a 4% fee that the auditor will put on there. Playground equipment installation. I don't know if anyone noticed a big dome over here next to our playground equipment that's currently in, in the installation phase. They actually have the dome installed. What they need to do next is pour the pour and play in place. So basically what that is, is that landing, that soft landing that uh, kids will be on if they do happen to fall. So it is almost like an absorbent, um, but there's still a few more phases to go in that um, installation. Once we have a firm opening date, I will share that with uh, council and share with the public on Facebook. <coughs> 2019 to 2023 CIP, which is our capital improvement plan. Um, we will need a work session for the following date, 913 or 912. We had some other listed on your city manager's report, uh, but due to availability and legal advertisement uh, uh, needs that we need to do, um, I am suggesting a 912 or 913. I will leave it up to council. Um, I think on 913, Mr. Cobb cannot be present. On 912, Mr. Shammy cannot be present. I don't know what council date you want to proceed with that, so I'm going to let you guys decide, or you can just let me decide. Council? I can do the four. I can do the 12, but not the 13. Mondays are fine. Hmm? Monday. Monday? We can't do a Monday. We have a count. We have. <clears throat> You can do Monday the 17th, but we have a council meeting that day. Yeah, we have work. So we can meet early and go through the council. But if we do that, then then there literally cannot be any changes to the CIP because I won't have time to amend yeah, it unless I draft it and do it. So uh, the other kickback to this is I really don't want to do it this route. We can stick with 910. Um, that puts me in a bind to get everything done. So I was looking for those two extra days. Um, on the other side of this, though, is we would have to take the legal ad out in the new sun, and Dell gives everyone a very, very aggressive pricing on the legal advertisements. So um, 912 or 913 is what I'm recommending. Council? I can do any of them, so. And if I can add something else, this first round of the CIP is part of our requirements that we have to do to start a 2019 operating budget. The CIP is not set in stone, even though it will be passed by resolution, because by the time we go in and plug those numbers into our 2019 operating, some things should, or some things may have to be cut. So um, when we start the actual 2019 operation, we can discuss the CIP again at that point in time okay. as well. So is there a motion for the 12th or the 13th? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Vice Mayor. I move to have our CIP work session on the on the uh, hmm, we can look at that date again. Make sure Come on. on the twelfth. Second. I'll second. <clears throat> is that Mr. Lindsay on the first? Yeah. Yes. Mr. Cook on the second. Yes. And this is for nine twelve. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Court session accepted on September 12th, 26. Thank you. I will uh, check the availability of the shelter house with a fire station and get back with everyone. Right. Thanks. 
That is all I have for the city manager report. I'd be happy to entertain any questions. Council, do you have any questions for Mr. Rich? Mr. Mayor. Mrs. Uh, the uh, crime watch is on the 12th here at the here. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Our meeting will be at 7, I assume? Yes. Uh, fire station. So, fire station? Hey, crime watch is on the 12th. <laughs> Mr. Bridge, I have a quick question for you about the income tax collection. Sure. Last year it was down 200,000. This year it's up. So I'm guessing that's good, good numbers to report. So it's up by, so it's about roughly even. What do you mean we were down 200,000? We had collected less than 200,000 in the last budgeting period. That was full, a full year. Though. For a full year? Okay. Yeah. So how it's going to play at the end of the year, we don't know. All I know is from this time last year to this time last year, we are. Okay. <laughs> Double check. Sure. Oh, it's good to be up. But, um, what time do you guys want the work session? Six thirty or seven? Seven. 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 Any council? Anything else for the city manager? Nope. All right. Thank you. We are now to our comments from members of the public. Please let us <coughs> comment. Five minutes. Please give your name and your address. Uh, Linda Eggleston Nowakowski, 317 South Main Street. Um, I've mentioned in front of you the uh, possibility of having beehives in the city. Um, I've done some research. Um, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Columbus, and Springfield all have ordinances that allow beehives in the city and I would like to know what I need to do or who I need to talk to to get you guys to consider changing the ordinance in the city of New Carlisle. Council? It would be a member of council who would support that would need to make the motion at council to have it written into our ordinances or you could do what the uh, woman had did with her pot belly pig that she wanted to keep by petitioning to have the initiative put on, placed on the ballot. Okay. If anybody's interested in working on this with me, it's a council member, I'd appreciate it. Any other comments from members of the public? Hearing none. Committee reports, none tonight. Resolutions, <clears throat> none. Ordinances, Mrs. Berner. Our first one is Ordinance 18-23. It's introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 9-17-18. An ordinance supplementing certain appropriations in New Carlisle City Ordinance 18-03. Ordinance 18-24, introduction, public hearing and action tonight. An ordinance permitting two City of New Carlisle Council members to attend union negotiation meetings concerning City of New Carlisle employees and declaring an emergency. Council. Make a motion to suspend the rules. We don't need a motion to suspend the rules. We don't? No, it's already placed upon the agenda. Then I'll make a motion to adopt the ordinance. Second. We've got Bill Cook and Mr. Sheehan. Yes. Okay. And an explanation to this ordinance is it was not uh, drafted by myself, and it is a policy matter. Mr. Cook, who uh, initially wanted the legislation, will do a quick explanation. Basically, this ordinance will allow <clears throat> two council members to sit in on the negotiations of the working class of our city. In those union negotiations, we at least can get, <coughs> I believe, a transparency issue as to what is going on. That way, we're going to have a little better understanding when it comes back to be passed by council. Council, any comments, questions, or concerns? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lowry. Um, if I may, Mr. Bridge. And I know you've, you've given us your thoughts on this before, but I'd like to hear them one more time. I think this is a policy matter. Um, I appreciate you wanting my opinion. As I said many times before, um, at first I was kind of taken back by it. Um, I understand the need for it now. 
Um, given the legal opinion that our law director just given, I would hope that if this does pass, the legal opinion is adhered to. Um, as long as it is stressed to the public, there's no way indication that this is um, me not doing my job because this is the first time that this has ever happened. I think it's a very unique situation to be in. Um, we have never had counsel in our union negotiations before, ever. Um, I like change sometimes, and I think that um, this particular thing, as I had spoke with other council members, the first year with the union people might go a little rough, but I think anytime you have something new, you go through a trial and error period. And I think after year two, year three, year four, year five, I think it has the potential to be a great thing. Um, I just hope council understands that the day-to-day -day administration falls under the city manager, whether it be me or whoever it is in the future, and that relationship cannot be stepped on. Um, but I think it's a very good way for this council to show good faith effort to their citizens that they are seeing uh, all aspects of their city, including the operational side. My only concern, well, I've got a couple concerns with this, and as you know, we had all we had all received a letter from the city attorney, um, and she gave you know both sides of pros and cons that it is you know completely legal to do, but you know also be careful at the same time. Uh, you know, there's a fine line. You know, you, we can't go into this meeting and start giving opinions and what we'd like to see done and things like that. Um, my thought is, my worry is, is that it's going to cloud it, not clear it up, because you're the city manager, you run the day-to-day -day operations, and you have always brought back to us what's been going on and what's taking place, and we have questions and we ask you. I think it's going to cause more work and more effort on your end, um, and, and possibly more work with attorneys if, if some line was by chance to be crossed by mistake or accidentally, whatever it may be. Um, so that's just my thought. I'm not a big supporter of it. I just, I, I, you know, it's your, in my opinion, it's your job, and you've done a fantastic job. And if we have questions, we ask you, you give it to us, and we can hand it out. That's just the way I see it. Thank you. It's definitely unique. It is. Council, any other comments, questions, concerns? Mr. Bridge. As an original supporter of this, right off the bat, from just looking at it in a purely transparency issue, which I, you know, I'm all about, considering. I've pushed for our budget to be online. Transparency is a big deal for me. Uh, my only question is, is regardless of what goes on in this meeting, it's going to be reported back to council as a whole. Uh, and we're still going to negotiate this uh, we'll amongst going, council. We'll be going to executive session yeah. on the 17th. Yeah, when we go on to executive session. So I, I feel like this might just muddy the waters a little bit. So I, I actually have been reading over this and talking uh, with citizens about this. And I just think it. We're going to, regardless of what happens, we're going to negotiate the contract with council as a whole. And those members who would sit on that committee, whoever they might be, if this were to pass, uh, would not be able to report to the public what was said. So I don't think it increases transparency at all. I just think it causes potential headaches, and like sure. Lynette said. So I plan to vote no on this matter. And I thank everyone for asking my opinion. It means a lot. Council, anything else? Mrs. Burner. Okay. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. No. Mayor Reynolds. No. Mr. Lowry. No. Mr. Shammy. No. Motion fails. You two, two, four. All right, would you like to continue on, Mrs. Burner? I can. Other business, Congressman Warren Davidson will hold mobile office hours at the city building on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 1.30 p.m. until 2. And our crime watch meeting will take place September 12th at 6.30 p.m. here at Smith Park Shelter House. All right. Executive session. Council, is there any other business? <coughs> Mr. Cook. Since there have been several requests for copies of the law director's bill to council in regards to certain matters, I believe it would be important <coughs> for council members to have copies of said report. That way, when it comes out in either the news media that council, when uh, approached and questioned, they would have enough information in order to respond. 
Council? I think that'd be something for Mr. Bridge to get to the individual council members. I don't think it requires a motion by council. Mr. Bridge, can I ask? add? I, I think what he's asking is, I think at the last meeting, Mr. Cobb had asked me for itemized bills. Okay. Um, and I had said, sure, but they'll be redacted. Um, portions of them will due to potential HIPAA violations. Um, any kind of um, discipline we've had to do with our uh, hourly employees, council is not privy to see that. Uh, I'm sorry, members of the public are not privy to see that. Council's not privy to see anything health related. Um, so we'll have to pay to get that is redacted. As how much that's going to cost, I don't know. Are you asking for everyone since 18 and you're asking everyone for the past so many odd years? Um, so I'm not going to sit there and uh, instruct our law director to redact all this information uh, without having council majority behind it. I do have a slew of public records requested now that are essentially asking me to break down our legal bills. So I'm working on that now as we speak. Well, not literally as we speak, but it's one of my big projects. Um, so I don't know if that's going to satisfy council's request, but I think, and Mr. Cook, please correct me if I'm wrong, is that you guys want to, month of January, you want to see that bill that is mailed to me. Basically a copy sure. of what you're going to be giving on the public information. Oh, I'm not giving public, I'm not giving copies of the, our legal bills as part of the public records request. I am breaking down the information and giving them the, I'm giving them the information they're asking for. But the other part of that too is I'm actually categorizing and breaking down all of the charges that we've had. So you'll be able to find out elephant in the room, how much did the city go after, how it was per, in the public records request, how much did the city pay for uh, the recent issues we had on council. That will be, they'll have a dollar amount with that particular issue. So basically I'm asking for a copy of that report or that public information that you're going to be giving out. Well, there's two different things. People are asking for information and then people are not, you, no one's asked me for a copy of the actual invoices. Okay, I'm not asking for copies. I'm Those invoices are going to be redacted. The report. Yeah, the report will be fine for everyone. That's what I plan to do. I plan to just email, mass email them out once I'm done with it. But if you want the actual bill that is sent to the city no, building, no. that has on this date, we did, she worked on this for this person, that that portion will be redacted if it has copy. to be, if it required by law. Copy of the report that you're giving to the people. That That's not a, yeah, sure. Are you good, Mr. Cook? And if that don't satisfy it, then we'll, we'll get together. And right. Can't say anything else? No. Mr. Lowry. Mr. Mayor, make a motion we adjourn. Second. We are Mr. Adjourned. Mayor, oh. before you hit that. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> don't do it. My bad. No. <laughs> At the end of the last meeting, someone would ask me, do we have to vote for adjournment? Not according yeah. to our, our rules of council now. No? Not according okay. to our rules of council. Sorry, you do. Sorry? To the charter or ordinance that you do. Is it in the charter? Either the charter or ordinance is one. Well, if it's we'll let us just go back and look, because in the last seven years, it was just one motion was over. And then we adjusted the rules this year, and two, it was two, to two, two, so it would be follow more. I don't know. I figure I'd ask it. Yeah, that's a good question, uh, considering that it's been going on for seven years. Let's look into it. Longer. Well, yeah, well, seven years that I've been here, so. Are you good? Yes, thank you. We get to adjourn? All right, we are adjourned. <laughs>